Hey everyone, I am going to do a brief video to use layman terms and uh, show how we've set up our audio for our Switcher Studios. And with that being said, we're an older church. I'm a youth pastor. Uh, my, I had to learn everything from ground up. A lot of the terminology that was used in the Switcher Studio enthusiasts was great. A lot of great help, a lot of great resources, but a lot of it was over my head. I just didn't even understand some of the basic terminology. Uh, so from ground up, we've been doing this for about nine months. The last two weeks, our, um, our live feed on Sunday mornings through Facebook Live and now YouTube have, have been about 95% of where we want it to be. Uh, almost, almost, almost uh, flawless. Um, but it's... Every week's been a battle, and uh, and it's just because not knowing what to do or how to how to do it uh, and do it right. And people have been very generous, uh, and I want to be able to do this as well to help some of you uh, folks out there that have questions. So that being said, when we started, we had just the iPad, and uh, there were no other cables plugged into it. The iPad was stationed up there in the sanctuary at the front, and it was just utilizing house audio. So you have the blue microphone there at the top, which can be muted. That was a whole another learning curve as well, what that microphone could do, but we left it like that, unmuted, and uh, it picked up house audio. Anything that was here in the room was the audio. So it sounded like our pastor all the way up there was in a can and when the band played, um, it, it was really a struggle. Plus we initially were on Wi-Fi, and uh, a lot of people utilize Wi-Fi. they have great signals. We had constant issues and, and we even upgraded our internet package. Um, but uh, latency issues, the, it would rebuff or buffering, uh, the video would lock up, the audio would keep playing, just, just issues. So cosmetically it doesn't look great, but we have hardwired everything. So our internet comes up here. There's our internet. We have our extensions or our ethernet cables going out. And uh, there are three ports up there. That's another whole nother topic. But those adapters, ethernet adapters for our iPad would be right there, one iPad. Right there is a tripod. It holds an iPhone 12 camera. Then there's the other I, uh, iPad stand. So all three of those are hardwired on Sunday morning. So we've got three different cameras. Um, then after we figured that out, we've got the Wi-Fi hardwired. Uh, we also uh, started evaluating our sound. We decided we needed to tie into the mixer and get the best quality sound, which took several weeks to figure that out. This is called an audio interface, this box here. I did not understand that. A lot of people will call an audio interface. Uh, it, it's, it's a way to convert the sound and move the sound from the mixing board to your computer or you know the iPad. And um, People suggest iRig, iRig 2s. Initially, uh, a lot of things were back ordered and they were very expensive. We were already spending money on the iPad or uh, different accessories. So try to cut corners and it didn't work. Um, at one point we tried to tie into the mixing board. There's a USB-C, or a, I'm sorry, a USB port there. There's an, uh, a headphone jack. We tried to take shortcuts, had a little bit of success, but it was not the same as this. So for us, we were with an audio box USB 96. With that audio box, you get a microphone cable. Uh, in the terminology, they call it an XLR cable. I'm, uh, I'm a knucklehead, so we, <laughs> it's, a, it's a microphone cable, but it's an XLR cable. That gets plugged in. The audio interface, there's no power cable for this. I believe it's called phantom power, but it's it's getting power through this cable. And um, this cable gets plugged in back here in the back of the mixer and uh, gets its power. With this, also, it came with a set of headphones. 
This is a way to monitor the sound coming from the mixing board into the iPad, uh, which is gonna be different than what you're hearing here in the sanctuary. Uh, uh, and I'll explain that here in a second, but you get the headphones. You also get a lightning cable back here. So this is what gets plugged into the iPad. I can't remember, I made a couple of these videos. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but this is a USB-C port. Uh, very, very important piece, USB-C port. This is where all the cables can flow in because most of the iPads have uh, just a charging port, just one place to, to plug in one cable. Some may have uh, a headphone jack as well, but this USB-C port has a place there for HDMI. This black cable connects the audio interface, which is Presonus Audio Box. Okay, it also has the power cable here, just charging the, the iPad. And then this last one is an ethernet adapter. Plugs in, there's our hard wire, uh, our ethernet. So we've got all three of those cables. This thing's plugged in, it's charging, it's hardwired. And uh, so that's how we're getting our sound. Now, back to the mixing board, two things. Right now, the way this is set up, and I'm not a, I'm not mixing board savvy. I know just enough to be dangerous. We set the mix. You can see we've got all these different channels. We have a bass. We're here in Kentucky. We have a so we have a fiddle in our band uh, or violin fiddle, a couple of vocal mics, keyboard, drums, and we set the mix for how people are hearing the sound, the monitors, how the band's hearing the sound, how people are hearing the sound. There's one of our speakers there. There's the other one. So we set the mix for how they're gonna hear the sound here in the sanctuary. Now, coming down here to the mixing board, we have a separate, this is mix nine and 10. So everybody's mixing board's probably gonna be different. Now, where this audio box comes in is this is a completely different mix that does not affect anything that people hear here in the sanctuary. This is the sound that people are hearing on the internet. And that's where these headphones come in. I put the headphones on, I listen to the mix, and uh, that is what people are gonna be hearing out on Facebook or what people will be hearing on YouTube. Uh, I would say it's probably 90% accurate, uh, and I'm sure there's uh, that's more learning uh, how to tweak that, but there's a microphone, uh, let me see, a headset volume right there, so I can turn that up, listen to the mix, and uh, that's what's getting pumped out on the internet. Now, uh, a little hack that we use, that's another iPad and that's a different set of headphones. And so as uh, we stream on Sunday morning, I go into Facebook Live so I can watch the comments because a lot of our feedback will come from the comments. Uh, can you help with the volume? Uh, uh, the vocals are too loud. We, get, we used to get feedback like that the last two weeks. We haven't because it's, it's been on. But I monitor that, I monitor the Facebook feed, and then I also listen to what everybody else is listening to. So that's kind of like a backup, <coughs> excuse me. That's a backup to the audio interface. So there's what you're hearing, the mix that's getting pumped out uh, to the internet, and that's a backup for what people are actually hearing, which is a little bit different, but not a lot different. Um, so go back here. We are back to the mix. So when the band starts playing and practicing on Sunday mornings, we can set their mix so they can hear each other as they need to and how it sounds here in the sanctuary. And then we have this as a separate channel that does nothing but sends our sound and, and works with our sound going out on the internet. So I hope that that helps. A uh, couple things, the, the best thing that we did was we hardwired uh, the internet, um, 
and then this audio interface, um, hooking it up to the mixing board and just having to figure that out. Uh, so I don't, I don't think you can, I don't know how many weeks it takes to, to tweak it, but I know a lot of times we'd come up here and just record and then go back and listen to it and try to try to figure out the mix too. So uh, one mistake I made, I turned the volume up here on the headphones, uh, which helped me hear the sound better, but it didn't necessarily reflect what people were hearing on the internet, uh, which I've been warned about that uh, from some people that it's not always accurate. Um, it has something to do with different power levels. And so I don't know, I, I'm just giving you that as a tip. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, um, as best I can, I'll uh, try to answer them. Uh, and I'll be posting as well as I continue to have questions with people who have been doing this for years and, and are really kind and generous helping us uh, out in various issues.